Hi there, welcome aboard to my solar troller. This is a fully solar electric powered boat. My name's Matt Murfert, and I'm gonna walk you through all the main components and show you how I tore out my gas outboard and converted my boat to solar electricity. Okay, so the first main components of my solar electric boat are the electric outboard and the 48 volt lithium ion battery. I'll open it up and, and give you a close up later, but to give you some details on these, this is a Torquedo Cruise 4.0. It pulls 4,000 watts maximum. So that's about 83 amps continuous out of my 48 volt battery. So this lithium ion battery is in a commercial grade uh, weatherproof plastic box here. And I think, um, uh, not ironically, it's right where the gas tank used to be. Go. So here is the 48 volt lithium ion battery. You can see the individual cells here. Each one I think is 3.2 volts nominal. You see the main uh, fuse, uh, 125 amp fuse on the positive leg, protecting the circuits. The smaller cables coming in are 30 amp charging circuits coming from the solar modules through the charge controller. And you see the larger cables, uh, which are uh, taking the, the current out to the, to the electric outboard. And then finally, I have a, a temperature sensor here, which the charge controller uses for uh, voltage uh, thermal compensation calculation to, to make sure it's getting the charging right. And the final cool little device here, which is dangling off, is called a BMS, or Battery Management System. And what this does is it balances the voltage among each one of these individual lithium ion cells to make sure that I'm never over or under charging them when I go through the cycling. So now I'm going to walk you through the power flow of the electric boat starting from the sunlight input out to the outboard. So up above I have about 1000 watts of solar PV modules. Those are six uh, Sanyo 180 watt modules um, wired two each in series. Um, reason the strings are so short are because almost without exception your off-grid uh, charge controllers are typically taking a maximum of 150 volts open circuit input. So uh, in contrary to residential or commercial solar, um, that really limits your string length and your voltage. But it makes the overall system safer, especially in a wet application. So the power flows from the modules um, through the breaker. There are two PV strings, uh, each on a 15 amp breaker, um, through this box into the charge controller. The charge controller's job is to balance the voltage and always charge the battery at its optimal, uh, its optimal current and voltage. So right now if I dial through it, I can see that the batteries are full, as they often are, at 50 volts, um, which is great for a 48 volt nominal. We are in float control mode, which means I'm just topping them off. That sometimes is also known as trickle charge. And you can see it's only taking you know, from 0 to 10 watts at any time from the modules. Now on the voltage side, you see that this charge controller is actually managing 120 volt PV input and it's, uh, it's clipping that down to 50 volts in order to give a safe uh, voltage charge to the battery. Finally, we have the Torquedo electric outboard throttle control here. And I also get another voltage reading on the battery. Um, I get time to empty, I get speed, and I get instantaneous watts out uh, so I know how much I'm drawing out while I'm under power. By the way, this 48 volt nominal lithium ion battery can be considered full at 50 volts and empty at 43 volts. So I have the battery management system, which balances the voltage between the cells. My charge controller will, will make sure that the battery pack is never overcharged. And the Torquedo outboard itself is programmed to drop out uh, in case we see 43 volts. So that could be um, known as a, a low voltage disconnect. So it, it actually drops the load in order to save the battery. So it's protected from overcharge, undercharge, and imbalance. So thanks very much for listening uh, to my uh, solar boat presentation. I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, let's go for a ride. Okay, everyone's all aboard. Now it's full sun ahead. Here we go. Forty-five hundred watts propulsion. <laughs> 